Holy Thursday, April 6, 2023. I'm at the Septa Levittown station on the Amtrak Northeast Corridor route. Gonna spend the day rail fanning Septa and Amtrak and CSX in various locations in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. This is the last Septa Regional Rail stop before you get to Trenton on the corridor. And as you can see, the station has been upgraded. It used to be a low platform affair that was had derelict platform sheds. Now it's got a nice high platform and elevator access and a footbridge over the tracks. It's one of the nicer stations on SEPTA. Approaching on track two at 927 is Amtrak 2154, the Acela Express from Washington to Boston. They move right along through here. And he just knocked down signal 632. 929 running a few minutes late is Septa Junk. Train from Philadelphia to Trenton. GE Silverliner 4s. Unfortunately, I'll probably be seeing a lot of this garbage today. Well, we'll watch 707 knock down signal 632 on track one. cars reminded me of a blind date I went on. I was screaming all the way home. Okay, at 9.34, heading towards New York is train 130 on Amtrak, Washington and New York, with an ACS 64 City Sprinter. Believe it or not, these things are not long for this world with the new hybrid equipment they're gonna get. The action on the Northeast Corridor through here and other towns nearby is hot and heavy. And it's gonna be a hot day today. It's gonna to be in the low 80s before some storms come through this afternoon. So I better find some shady shelters later on. By then I'll be on CSX, probably around Woodbourne. Well, today is Passover. It started sundown last night. It's 9.44 a.m. and about to pass over the rails here is 2151. Boston, Washington. Hey, 10.05 arriving is SEPTA train 708 and ride from Chestnut, excuse me, from Trenton to Chestnut Hill East with those Silver Liner 4 things. Beautiful looking cars, these ain't. That was Amtrak 644, Harrisburg, New York, caught me by surprise at 10.07. The only way I can think of making these cars look better if they were put through a compressor. Sounds more like a steam engine. People I know at SEPTA say those things are becoming increasingly unreliable. I mean, they're 50 year old cars, they haven't been rebuilt. And I've heard it on a couple of occasions that the Silverliner 5s are the most sought after equipment these days. Well, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure that out. They were always the most dynamic equipment out there. Now people are starting to appreciate it, the ones who didn't. 1023 approaching 
Outbound for Trenton is train 709 from SEPTA with more boring stuff on it. You're looking at the low platforms that are sometimes used if they have to load on track number two. They load on the boards there. My fourth grade teacher scraping the blackboard with a long fingernail is much more tolerable to the ears. I gotta pay attention. 1025, that was Amtrak 643, New York to Harrisburg. And approaching now on two is 2104, a seller from Washington to New York. We'll move down and get him standing on the low platform. Should have 141 from Springfield, Massachusetts to Washington not too far behind 643. And the Vermonter is following this guy, 56. All right, approaching at 1038 is Amtrak 141, regional from Springfield, Massachusetts to Washington, D.C. 56 isn't far away. Approaching at 1040 is 56, the Vermonter from Washington to St. Albans, Vermont. The Lake Champlain area now of Upper New York and Upper Vermont states have more Amtrak service now than they've ever had. They got the Ethan Allen Express from New York to Burlington, Vermont. You have this Vermonter. And this week, the Adirondack was revived between New York and Montreal. So you got three trains in that neck of the woods. Awesome. a great interlude here at Levittown. We PA. move further down the corridor to the Bristol Scepter Station. Approaching at 1101 is train 2160, Washington to Boston. slowing down going around the curve approaching Grundy interlocking and approaching west for the Bristol stop is train 710 Trenton to Chestnut Hill East stop for him will be Croydon. My ninth grade social studies teacher was much more intriguing than those things, and that's not saying much. Well, time is 11.15 approaching, except the train 711 from Chestnut Hill East to Trenton. Listen to that beautiful horn. I finally got something to be excited about on SEPTA. A pristine set of silver liner fives.
All right, you too. Good seeing you again. All right. Very nice engineer. I met him once before on the Trenton to Philadelphia ride that I did. I give nicknames to engineers that I know. I'm gonna call this guy the Philadelphia Flyer. He's stuck with that forever. Come 646, Harrisburg, New York. Silver Meteor, number 98, Miami, New York. Should Next follow. up is 98, the Silver Meteor, Miami, New York. Buy at 11.24. Comes 86, Richmond, Main Street to Boston. Five. Boston and Norfolk, Virginia by 11.39. 11.40, lastly, 182, Washington to New York. Great Amtrak show at Bristol. Well, we moved along down the corridor. Out of geographical sequence, we're here at the Little Dinky Station of Eddington. Not many trains stop here. Serves local industries, and there's a lot of traffic in this area, boy. Well, here comes SEPTA train 712 from Trenton to Chestnut Hill East with the Philadelphia Flyer Engineer. Best. Yeah, limited stops are made here by SEPTA trains, and you have to step over a freight spur to board the trains on the Trenton bound platform, the track number one. 1208, here comes Amtrak 91, the Silver Star, from New York to Tampa and Miami. Come 648 Harrisburg to New York at 1216, lasting by Tiny Eddington Station. Double headed. Oh, he's got a little bit of horsepower, like 17,000 plus. 713 is coming in. He's going to stop here and route to Trenton. Silverliner Fives. Gorgeous car. He's got one shrink wrap car in the lash up. Fighting Irish. Yeah. 
engineer had a Notre Dame cap on. The Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. Great campus. 12:23. Here comes 2160. Acela, Washington to Boston. not too far behind him from Newport News to Boston. He might have the Portland Rose engineer on him. Approaching 1228 is 174 en route from Newport News to Boston. He should have the Portland Rose engineer on him. expecting me here. Well, we move back up the line towards Trenton in beautiful downtown Croydon, Pennsylvania. Looking towards New York, Croydon is in a real high-speed territory. Regionals can go through here at 125. At 1.02 p.m. approaching is 645 from New York to Harrisburg. He's got a cab car up front. Those old Metroliner cars. down. He's got a 105 mile an hour restriction up ahead. And arriving at 112 is train 715. Chestnut Hill to Trenton. Ugh. Should have some pretty ladies coming in the opposite direction on train 714. I can hardly wait. <laughs> Clunk, clunk, clunk to Trenton. We saw him knock down the 694 signal. And here comes 714. On those beautiful dials now on 714. at 129 is train 84 in Norfolk Virginia to New York all right I'm gonna hang around here until two should see several Philadelphia bound Amtrak's. Right, approaching 144 is 2164, Acela, Washington to Boston. We have three Amtrak trains. Westbound in succession, 2159, 171, and 609. Okay, 148 approaching is Amtrak 2159. Acela from Boston to Washington. Seventy one, Boston to Roanoke. Well, it cooled me off a little bit. Seventy eight humid degrees right now. Two oh four approaching is train six oh nine from New York to Harrisburg. Cab car first. Here he's slowing down for a curve just west of here. I saw some neat action here 
I'm gonna leave now because a Superliner 4 is coming headed for Philly. I'm afraid I might fall asleep. Well, we've changed railroad lines. We're now on the old Reading Company line, the old Royal Blue Route. We're at Langhorn, Pennsylvania. This is on the Septa West Trenton line. And uh, we've got a cure for insomnia coming in with a West Trenton bound train at 222. Get to hear that inspiring horn of these things when they pull out. There are three tracks here. The two tracks on the left belong to SEPTA. The track nearest to me belongs to CSX. A little luck, maybe we'll get a freight train on this. Or two. Note how different these catenary poles look from the former Penzi line. I think I have more inspiration to go to work on a Monday morning after a long holiday weekend than that horn does for me. The station here at Langhorn is very quaint and historic. It was originally built in 1876, but it's been rebuilt a couple of times. Hey, at 225, we have a CSX southbound approaching. Double stacks might be I-158. CSX and SEPTA are now totally separated, totally segregated. One doesn't interfere with the other, usually. Approaching at 234 is train 30, 331 on SEPTA, West Trenton the media, and uh, Elmer Fudd would say, wasn't that lovely? Only Elmer Fudd could design a horn like that. Well, right by the station in Langhorn is this place, but I wasn't planning on being here for dinner. Maybe I should think twice. If I see enough Silverliner 4s, 
I might be driven to drink to go to this pub. Another enticement. Today is Thursday. Well, approaching Langhorn at 320 is train 6328 from 30th Street, Philadelphia to West Trenton. And uh, right now the Silver Liner Fours are putting on quite a performance on the West Trenton line. Unfortunately, I didn't bring any tomatoes with me. Oh, listen to that. Beautiful. The sterile S2M horn. You could call it Scepter's version of concrete music. Although they, admittedly, they sound better than the Long Island C3 cab car horns. All right, let me torture myself. In a few minutes, 3223 will be coming in from West Trenton and Newark, Delaware, with more of those things. That's one of the weird trains on SEPTA that starts in New Jersey and ends in Delaware. Supposedly, when those Silver Liner Fours were delivered to SEPTA way back when, they were equipped with Westinghouse AA2 horns. But for some idiotic reason, they took those things out for those damn pea shooters. All right, 333. Here comes the train 3223, bound for Newark, Delaware, with more of those mechanical monstrosities. Get to hear that horn again. I've heard alfalfa on the little rascals when he sings. That sounds better than that. <laughs> Just left Woodbourne a little while ago. His next stop is in the Chamonix. I sounded louder after I had my tonsils taken out. Had a long ride ahead of him. <laughs> Yes, I admit it, I am very transparent. If I like something, I'll tell you. If I don't like something, I'll tell you. Too many people out there, they say they like this or they like that or this food tastes good when they absolutely detest it, you know. And the other person gets led on thinking they're either a great cook and they keep cooking bad food. And God only knows how many people get poisoned. But I just can't do that. I can't do that at all. At the very least, I'll be straightforward, but try to be polite. But, I don't know, pretentiousness is not something I'm good at, and I don't want to be. Well, I couldn't just spend time at Langhorn on the West Trenton line at CSX. I had an ultimatum, the Woodbourne ultimatum. <laughs> We're at the Woodbourne station on SEPTA. CSX is on the extreme left, and the two tracks of the West Trenton line are on the right. And nearby to the left, underneath the Route 1 bridge there, is the CSX line to Morrisville. Be something, if I caught something running on that, there's a local that runs from there to Woodburn and back, usually with SD40-2s. We shall see. The overhead bridge in the background is the Norfolk Southern line to Morrisville. 
sees a few trains a day. And behind it, you'll see a track that sort of slopes down on the left. That's the old Conrail, well, it was built under Conrail, the Woodbourne Connection, connected from the Morrisville line to this West Trenton line, or eventually the Trenton line of Conrail, headed into New Jersey. It was kind of built to uh, spike Canadian Pacific. They didn't like Canadian Pacific running on their tracks. Conrail didn't. At Woodbourne, there are two interlockings, one on CSX and one on SEPTA. This is the CSX interlocking west of Woodbourne Yard, or east of it, I should say. CP Woodbourne. East of here on SEPTA, it's just simply CP Wood. And 412, here comes a Philly bound train of those contraptions. Patience, Copernicus, have patience. Next couple of eastbounds to West Trenton should be interesting. All good things come to those who wait, as they say. First train will have some Silverliner Fives, mercifully, and the train behind that even better. A Bombardier set push pull equipment. A 420 approaching is a CSX freight. 6330 from Philadelphia to West Trenton is due around now. They're neck and neck. was worth the entire day thus far. That was 6330 with that Silver Liner 5 set with that beautiful K3 LA horn blowing loudly. I think that train was Q032, a hot shot from Jacksonville to North Bergen, complete with Tropicana orange juice cars. 457 approaching now that same Silver Liner 5 set we saw earlier, except the train 3541. 
He's bound for Malvern, west of Paoli. Got a little rain shower, but nothing much. I don't even think Madam Butterfly could sing that good. And you'll notice the rear of that Silver Liner 5, car 851. Looks like the center door could use some paint. Oh, it's coming down harder. 504 having just arrived this train 6334 from Philadelphia to West Trenton bomber train that I think we'll call it a day everything else that's running out there on this line are silver line of fours I've seen too too many of them already today on the way back to the motel I had to stop at Levittown station again and just in time to see these dandies come in headed for Trenton Okay, our next Washington bound Amtrak train. It's 5.40 p.m. He's due around now. He's not too far away. Train 2167 en route from Boston to Washington. He goes non-stop from New York to Philadelphia. It's 66 minutes. And he was clocked at Princeton Junction doing 147 miles an hour. This should be controlled by the Portland Rose engineer. And he likes to move fast. Here he comes, he's on time. He's about to be passed by a Keystone, Harrisburg to New York. at 543 he's doing a Philadelphia at 606 well, chasing 2167 he's not gonna catch him that's for sure 544 approaching his train 129 New York to Washington he's gonna be running through here on track four closest to me Approaching at 547 is 2172, a seller. Washington to Boston. That keystone that passed earlier, going to New York, was 652. This guy's gonna catch him and pass him. That keystone is a keystone clunker. In addition to Trenton, it makes all those two-bit stops like Princeton Junction, New Brunswick, Metro Park. Not like your typical keystone that makes limited stops. Pennsylvania. Right 
alongside the corridor. Great spot. Hang around here and try to get a couple of trains. Five. Here comes 655 and route from New York to Harrisburg. Boston or Washington. And the last of the Amtrak trifecta heading to Philly is Amtrak 55, the Vermonter from St. Albans, Vermont to Washington. Golden Eagle Diner, restaurant, bar, and grill in Bristol. I highly recommend eating in this place.